Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Get Coded with Lakshay. In the last video, we were working on HTML, means Hypertext Markup Language. But in this video, we will start with CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. So, we we will we are doing our HTML part in brackets.io. So, the link for brackets.io is in the description box too. So, let's start with CSS. So we were making the HTML part and in the last video we got to know that how to use how to use images and audio in, in our website. So I will show you the live test. So this was the website we made. But if we will put this on the Google, it, it is not looking nice. Very big image, then small text, and no background color. So in style.css, we will start our styling. So I have told you that these h2, h3, h4, h6, h1, body, paragraph, HTML these all are tags so we have to define the styling of tags in CSS but in the tags we will not write the greater and the smaller sign we just have to write the name like if I am writing body in which we put all the components so body and then we have to put curly brackets so when you will click on the start means the starting curly bracket the ending curly bracket will come immediately then in between it you have to click enter then you have to write background color then you can choose any color like I am choosing corn silk and then semicolon like if you don't want to choose it so you have to write background hyphen color so the color spelling should not be c o l o u r because in computer coding the color for computer is c o l o r then we will write colon then you can choose your background color like i choose choose corn silk and then semicolon then we can write text line center semicolon if we will don't put semicolon uh, it will not work then we will take h1 then curly brackets then color color means the text color so I am using blue now here then h2 so the color can be like aqua and the background color can be blue violet I am taking the colors just to tell you any color but if you want that your website should have a very good color combination you can choose on your own the colors then we have to hit H3 then writing color and when I do this and write blue and semicolon so did you see a difference yes here the color is purple and aqua is blue 
but here color is blue and, and blue the color is black how because a mistake you have noticed that i have put the wrong bracket which is the square brackets so if so this was just to tell you that if you will put anything wrong the coding will, the coding will not work so after this i have to take curly brackets and when i will write color it it is in purple if you don't want the color from these options you can write the name you can write the name of the color like i am writing pink so there are different types of pink so i am using hot pink so i don't want to give any style to h6 a paragraph but i want to give style to image so when i will if so i am writing the width so like when i will write the width as 100 pixels pixels is px so this then we don't have to give any height to it because when we put put the we when we write the width of the image it automatically changes the height according to the width so now let's live test so now you have seen oh that a styling is not is not not there why because in the html first we have to link the css so how we can link css with html it's very easy we just have to take a smaller than sign then we have to write link then after after giving a space we have to write rel means r e l then is equal to then double inverted commas then style sheet then space then h r e f then is equal to and double inverted commas and style dot css and then the greater than sign so it's done just you just have to click control plus alt plus s for saving all then for live preview you have to click control plus alt plus p or you can also click on also click on this button so i am clicking control plus alt plus p so you can see that half of its orange means we are getting to know our live preview so now you can see that it is with our css color background color image width about me background and center alignment but i want that this image this image should be in the center and these both width should be different so let's do coding for this so we have to take we have to copy we have to cut this part and put it after the paragraph as it is inside the paragraph so that wise we made the id for making the word different so now i have to put the id and then so the id is lakshay so lakshay it's done and here we can write as 300 pixel and then we can write image then enter then width then 200 pixel so this is done so control plus all plus p so we can see that this is down but 
the length and the width the same again. How? Because when we put the styling of image, so image is for both the images. So it will not talk about the image of Lakshay. So we have to give the ID to the second image also. So I am giving the ID as so ID is like I am giving Lakshay to So now we will go in style.css and write here Lakshay 2 and then we will save it as control plus all plus s that control plus all plus p means live review so we can see that it's different we can see that the images are different so this is the this is how we can this is how we can make our web page more beautiful by using the css so if you like this video hit the like button share this video with your friends and relatives also subscribe my channel and do not forget to click the bell icon till then bye bye